what is tax mitigation, tax planning, and how you can save on taxes. That is what we are going to be talking about today. Welcome back. It is nice having you and I really want to be diving into taxes. Now there's a couple things that we need to be really discussing when it comes to taxes and especially how we can save on taxes in the future. Well, let's get one kind of big elephant type of a deal kind of out of the way first. If you are already doing your taxes, especially around tax time, that is based upon taxes of the previous year. So when you are taking a look at taxes, you can be looking at the previous year and saying, these are all the things that have happened. These are the taxes that are owed because of that previous year. Well, that does not mean that you are specifically tied to those. You have some options available to you, but not many. As a business owner, you can be putting into some retirement plans. And as an individual, you can also be putting into tax deductible retirement plans as well. For the most part, those are going to be your options if it's already past year end and you're trying to save for the previous year. Now that is not something that you can be habitually counting upon, so you want to be planning along the way. That is what tax mitigation is and tax saving, what the details behind that plan, how those come into place. So let's dive into that. What is tax mitigation? Well, at the essence, it's not tax avoidance. It's not saying that I owe this tax, but I'm not going to pay it. I'm going to try to be uh, maybe even going against what the IRS says and trying to uh, kind of cheat my way out of taxes. That is not what this is. What tax mitigation is, is saying how can we prepare for the taxes that are coming this year and how can we best prepare for how we can be saving in taxes through a little planning. Now, that's what good wealth planning does. It comes into all of the details of growing the accounts. It comes into details of how to work with just some goals that you have, but the tax mitigation is a big piece of it as well. So after you do your taxes, after you take a look at where you're at for the previous year, you can start planning for the current year. And there are some great ways to take advantage of some planning, especially if you're going to be coming into money this year that you had not in the previous years, whether it's by stock options, whether it is selling your company, whether you actually have a windfall event uh, from say maybe some legacy money, some inheritance money that's coming in. Some of those may be taxable and others may not. Planning is what comes down to saying how can we take what could be a big taxable event and change it into something that may actually be more beneficial, save on taxes, and you can use and utilize more for yourself and your, for your family. That's what tax mitigation is. So what can we do from here? Knowing that we are going to be planning for the year to come, not the previous year. That's where many people get confused this time of year is saying, how can we save money? Well, that's already been done. That's already been accomplished in the previous year. Now putting to work, looking at how we can save money for this year, that's the real tax mitigation strategy. So whether we go to charity, whether we are donating more to charity as part of a donor advised fund or a qualified charitable distribution, whether we are looking more and more into how to be gifting money away, gifting assets, or there's some other instances where we can be exchanging some maybe capital gains into other types of investments as part of, say, an exchange fund. Well, all of those come back to say how we can still be growing the assets in some instances, how we can be preserving on taxes today, maybe kicking the can down the road when taxes are going to be lesser for you and for your family, or how we can be even planning as, say, 
uh, whether a business owner and saying how can we be putting more weight into a retirement plan so basically taking from the free cash flow putting money away into a retirement plan for you and from some of your key employees that way we can take the deductions that way we can avoid having to pay tax today and be using it more in the future so tax mitigation is not avoidance all it is is just the correct planning and that correct planning is what will be the difference between having a okay retirement and having a great retirement. Please feel free to reach out as you want to talk more about what tax avoidance is. Feel free to like this video and I look forward to hearing from you and talking to you next time.